This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up the a full report builder using Search Atlas. In order to access this page, you're going to click More, hit the drop down, and go to the report builder. From there, you're going to land on this page. And the first step is to add the URL you wish to create a report for. So I'm going to take an account here, Therapy Group DC. This is a local therapist in Washington, DC. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. A pop-up will appear. And it's going to give you a few parameters. So location, this is going to be country level. Then you're going to do a date range. So the default is going to be one month. You could do three months, six months, or a year. We're going to leave it at one month for now. <clears throat> now you're going to have other data points to pull in. So if, you've con if this is an active account that you're working on or a website that you own, you should have already connected your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console. So from here, you're going to see a drop-down selector that's going to show you all of the Google Analytics accounts associated with your Search Atlas account. So I'm going to click the Therapy Group of DC GA4. We also have their Google Search Console linked. So again, you can search for it. Uh, and you can just type in Therapy Group. And then I'm going to click Therapy Group of DC. <clears throat> Backlinks. If you have a backlink project, same thing here, you can search for it. If not, if, so for this account, we don't have a backlink report set up. I'm simply going to deselect that. Keyword rank tracker. This is going to be the manual keyword rank tracker. So if you have not set that up in the keyword tool, you can deselect that. Local, he local SEO heat map. This also requires you to create this manually. Uh, please refer to the local SEO tool if you have not done so yet. There's a separate video on how to create that. Uh, but you're going to click the drop down, you're going to click Therapy Group of DC, and then you can select the keywords that you want included in this report. For this one, I'm just going to do Therapy in DC. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Generate Report, right? <clears throat> now remember, if you already set up keyword, a keyword rank tracker in the keyword tool, you can select that box and add that project here as well. If you have not, you can deselect it. Same thing for backlinks. If you set up a backlink report in the backlink tool, you can select it and include it. If not, you can leave those two unchecked, and then you hit Generate Report. Then you're going to see a notification here that says Report Configuration Created. <clears throat> you're going to see which items are included in that report that are going to be the green ones, and which ones have been omitted that are going to be the translucent ones. And you'll see the date it was created. You can then hit View Report. <clears throat> And you'll see a full report that kind of brings in the high level metrics. So the Google Analytics report, views, sessions, total users, new users, engaged sessions, the channel that's driving traffic, uh, the trend line of new and total users. And depending on how you've set up your GA4, certain charts may or may not populate. That's really going to be on how you've set up your Google Analytics account. Here you'll see the top pages that are bringing in the top users. Here you'll get a Google Search Console report that will show you <clears throat> how certain keywords are performing by impressions, positions, clicks, search volume, etc. Here you'll see which day of the week is giving you the highest click and how that's distributed by different device types, impressions by device types, traffic distribution by device types. And then here, we're seeing the local heat map for the keyword therapy in DC. We have an average position of one, doing quite well in local search. Uh, and then <clears throat> down here, you'll see some of the other, other sites that are ranking for that same keyword in that same location. If you want to customize this report further, you can then go to individual reports. And here you'll be able to see specific data sets on Google Analytics, Google Search Console, keyword rank tracking, heat maps, and backlinks. Here you can adjust your date range. You can select which metrics you want to include in this report. So for example, if this field is blank on the chart, maybe we would just want to go ahead and deselect that, right? So I'd remove that. And then total users by medium, I'd remove that. Revenue by source, I'd remove that. Conversions by source, I'd remove that. That way, when I present this report to the client, there aren't any blank charts. There are only charts that either I want to show or charts that actually contain real data. Uh, and then you can either download the individual report one at a time using this. So this would give you just the analytics report. Or if you go to the full report page, you can export 
as the name implies, the full report in one shot. So you have the option to either prepare and send individual reports or send a full report stack. Same thing with Search Console. I can adjust my date ranges here. So I can say, how have we been performing over the last year? Um, I can adjust the metrics I want to include. I can remove or deselect metrics I don't find important or relevant to this particular client. And everything is dynamic and adjustable and exportable. Again, since we did not create a keyword rank tracking report for this client, this is blank. The local heap map is here. Uh, I can add more keywords by going to the local SEO tool and building more map reports if I want. And same thing if I end up setting up a backlinks report for this client, I can also go ahead and adjust that. And I can search for the client directly through here. So this is going to be how to set up the report. <clears throat> uh, all of these reports are downloadable uh, as clean, non-branded PDFs. So they're very easy to share. You can also set up these reports in child accounts. So if you're an agency and you're white labeling Search Atlas, you can set up the report in the customer account directly so they can log in and view the reports whenever they want. Or you can run this out of your main account and just export the reports as needed for the clients. A uh, few reminders, in order to get the heat map set up, you have to go to local SEO and you have to build your heat map please watch the separate video that I created on how to do that as well. If you want to set up keyword rank tracking, you'd go to keywords, you'd go to keyword rank tracker, you'd create a new project for the website, for example, Therapy Group of DC, you'd create that as a project, you'd give it a refresh interval, you can give it a description, you can give it a location, and here you can do precise locations, I can do Washington DC. <clears throat> and you can either manually type in your keywords, you can use the recommendations from here, or you can just copy and paste an existing list that you may have already built in the past, right? So if I create this as a rank tracker, I can now add that back in to my report builder as well, right? So I can now go here, hit edit report, go keyword rank track, select therapy group of DC, and I've added that very easily. And if I wanted to do the same thing for backlinks, I would go to backlinks. Uh, I would go to project list, I would create a project, and I would also add that to the report builder. Um, <clears throat> again, you also need to make sure you're, you're connecting Google Search Console and Google Analytics. There's a separate video on how to do that, but you would go to Google Search Console Performance, connect GSC account, connect GA account, and that's how you bring all of that first party data into your report builder. Thank you.